I thank you all for coming. Uh, the Board of County Commissioners meeting will um, begin if we can rise for the invocation. Uh, the, I'm sorry, for the Pledge of Allegiance. I won't do an invocation. Turn to the flag, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. We have two public hearings tonight. We'll enter into the first one. Who wants to open it up for me? Wonderful. I appreciate it. Good afternoon, Commissioners. Joe Adams of the County Attorney's Office. I have the affidavit publication for your clerk. Oh, this is the second public hearing to de <clears throat> designate Alika Road from Ben Hill Griffin Parkway to its future connection with State Road 82 as controlled access. Um, as a reminder, this is going to require a supermajority vote of the board. And if there's any questions, staff is available to answer. Yeah, what, excuse me, what, what controls that? The supermajority, uh, statute or ordinance? It's the land development code provision. That's the county ordinance requires a supermajority. Yes, sir, you imposed it upon yourself. Thank you, just curious, appreciate it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm dragging this out. Okay. Any questions? Would, would the applicant like to address this? Or are they okay with the current items before us? County Attorney? Mr. Chairman, just in follow-up, um, you'll recall at your first public hearing, uh, there was some discussion by members of the public who are present tonight and I'm sure wish to be heard. Um, we've had several meetings with those individuals. Um, our position from the staff's perspective has not changed from the first public meeting. We would respectfully request approval of the staff submittal as presented in your backup material at the close of your public hearing. And legal is here for any uh, legal questions and your administrative staff is here for any substantive questions on the application or what the impact is of the designation as limited control. Thank, Thank you. you. Any questions, gentlemen? Public comment? Hmm? Now we wait for public comment. Any public comment? Thank you, Commissioners. My name is Todd Mathis. I'm here representing Benderson Development. We own the 1,000 acres on the north side of Alico Road, uh, north and east of Ben Hill Griffin and Alico Road. I've emailed you a couple times and this morning supplied proposed alternative exhibits. Uh, so I'll be very brief, but we are requesting two additional movements be included in the access management resolution, which would be a westbound right in at station 9260 and an eastbound left out at station 99 plus 80. Uh, we think Ultimately, commissioners, two things. One is uh, our first project out of the ground is gonna be a neighborhood grocery anchored shopping center at that corner, and it is going to be safe and convenient and obvious and, and much better for folks living in the area to get back and forth between their homes and their new homes and the shopping center with those two additional movements. We didn't want to uh, let this opportunity pass us by and show up in a couple months and ask you to change a decision which you're making tonight. So hopefully we've explained uh, between our first appearance and our follow-up emails and tonight what our request is and, and why we're making this request. Um, but very succinctly, it's to make sure that there is a convenient and safe means of ingress and egress to a shopping center, which is going to have a favored grocer and it'll be available to residents in the area. Uh, your staff has worked with us quite a bit and, and we appreciate their time and effort and uh, we'll certainly after this step, if you accept uh, the proposed changes we're asking for, we still have a lot of work to do with them, a lot of engineering and permitting and, and a lot of review time with them. Uh, so, you know, this is, this is not the end of, of the decision making or the planning. Uh, it's a collaborative process and we acknowledge that and we'll work in that vein. Uh, but we do think these are important movements to include in the resolution uh, should you be so inclined, commissioners. Definitely here to answer your questions. And I think Neil has a little follow up very briefly. Hi, good evening for the record, Neil Montgomery representing Benderson. I know that everybody's worried about public safety. Benderson's worried about the safety of their customers to the grocery store and they're worried about separating 
the industrial trips from their shopping center trips. I don't know if those of you get the Gulf Shore business blogs, you saw that stock is building two more custom high-end homes at, at uh, Wild Blue. So we know there's gonna be customers coming to this shopping center. One point is, from a public safety standpoint, your staff is gonna look at the traffic when we submit for the development order for the grocery stores. So you'll, your staff will evaluate turn lanes and all aspects of that access to the project. The other thing is, is I know the staff has expressed concerns about what happens down the road. If you look at the resolution that the county staff has provided you at the bottom of the first page, it says, the county retains full power and authority to exercise its police power to modify connection points, median opens, and turning movements to provide the health, safety, and welfare of the traveling public. So things may change out there. They probably will. Our, we'll have to prove at a DO's time that it's safe. And if things change and it's not safe, you retain, according to the document before you, full power to make adjustments. So what we would ask is, in the short term, allow us to come in for a development order to ask for those turning movements to prove that they're safe. And if five, 10 years down the road as things change, they're not safe, you have full ability to revisit that. But we would ask you, knowing what we know and what Benderson knows relative to the grocery store and the industrial trips, that we'd be allowed to keep those separate and to have safe access for all customers. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, commissioners. For the record, uh, David Cambray, Fire Chief, San Carlos Park Fire Department. Happy anniversary to you. I'll keep it short. I might be remiss if I wouldn't come up here and stand and say I applaud you for keeping Lico Road limited access. Uh, for the last 12, 27 years, I've gone to a multitude of very horrific accidents on that road, especially with the amount of traffic from the pits. So I applaud you for that, and I support that as a public safety concern. What I would ask is that this does not preclude us from a future station that would exit onto Alico Road. Um, our preliminary site right now is across from the ITEC. Many years ago, there was a, um, about eight or nine acres given to the county for police, uh, ambulance, and fire to utilize. And we'd like to have that opportunity to be able to access with the emergency sig signal at that location in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any other public comment? I'll close public comment then. Bring it up to the commission. On the fire, the fire chief's note, I was out there yesterday checking out the sites, and there's already a, several of them being built across from that site now, in that same area, direct, same area which wasn't there a month ago. So there's already a, several of them being built two miles east of Spin Hill Griffin. So it's unbelievable a lot of growth out there already, though. I have a question to the county attorney. Sure. Um, County Attorney, you first opened the meeting up with saying that the current item still had the staff's recommendation. Did that include the two addition movements the applicant's asking for? No, it does not. Is there a reason why it would not? What was the outcome of the negotiations on that? Part of the difficulty in this entire process is the speculative nature of the type of development that, that we've been confronted with. And I speak in terms of we have both a stipulated settlement agreement that you all have been provided and have been briefed upon that outlays certain pre-approved connections. We also have a pre-approved site development plan that is of record. The difficulty your staff has at the current time is this shopping center that we've heard much discussion about it has not been presented to the county. It's not been reviewed by the county. And it's difficult for the county to sign on for access points based on speculative development. Our point to the two speakers on this issue has been throughout that at such time as that development is approved, the access management plan could be subject to an amendment. There's no limitation. It's not a comprehensive plan amendment. There's no limitation on the number of times per year it could be amended. What we heard in response is that they don't want to be back before you in three months seeking an amendment to that and have to hear, well, why weren't you here three months ago when we adopted? On your behalf, I committed that we would not raise that as an issue three months from now when they come in, if it is in three months, and seek an amendment to this plan. 
Um, from a traffic safety standpoint, and I would defer to Randy and his team, um, I think it has a lot to do, once again, with the speculative nature of the access points being requested and also distance separation criteria from pre-approved access points. But again, I would defer to Randy on that issue. But in summation, staff's objection at this point in time is uh, they are asking for access points for development that has not been reviewed nor approved, been approved by the county staff. And our point throughout has been once you have those approvals, if it necessitates a modification to the access management plan that we're asking you all to adopt tonight, they can make that application. So I understand that. So would we have the authority in the future of doing the development stages, the planning with DOT, would they have the ability then, the county has standing then to reject based upon the concurrency of traffic and standards of safety, based upon their request that there's two certain sites now? Could we come back and say no at that time, doing development? You could under both the resolution and the settlement agreement. However, um, I believe the county is in a much stronger position to not approve now uh, and await a actual concrete application for development than approve speculation now and have to retract from that in the future. So without the development order, how can we give agreement to the two current agreed upon points now that's already in the order now, the resolution. We already given up, we're saying you can have these two accesses now, how can we do that without a development order? There were certain access points that were approved as part of the settlement agreement between the county and Venderson et al. So how long ago was that? Was that like 19, I think it was? Or 20 or 18? I'm just looking at how close things have changed and evolved in that area in the last year, in the last six months. I mean, so. August of 2019. So 2019, so it's yeah, almost two years, so. Okay. Any other questions? I have no other questions unless anyone else does or not. Thank you. If you're looking for a motion, I'll be happy to make a motion. Okay, um, I make a motion to agree the resolution with the two additional movements requested by the applicant at this time. Motion on the floor to include two additional. Okay. Any second? Seeing none, that fails. I move the staff request. I'll second his motion then. A motion and a second um, for staff's request. Um, any other discussion? Any public comment? County Attorney, you want um, a vote in any particular way or just a normal way? Just a normal way would be fine. Okay. If there's any question, we can deal with it then. Okay. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm inclined certainly to go forward with legal's recommendation. Um, I don't. I look at this in a way of um, allowing us to amend something and get it correct as opposed to speculatively doing something and maybe doing it wrong. So that's the reason why I'm going to vote in favor of staff's recommendation. But we have a motion and a second on, on the floor. Any other discussion? I, real quick, Mr. Chairman, I, I, I agree with the sentiment that you just shared as well. I, I, I actually look at the, you know, the, the question that's been posed before us about the other access points and I, I just I don't think our staff is being unreasonable to ask for the information to get into the development order process and to have some certainty of what we're really actually talking about before they make a decision on that and I think we're all really reasonable and we'll if it makes sense at the time to add those accesses we would they would certainly bring that back to us to, to add that and, and that's kind of where I was going Commissioner, I, I certainly am open-minded enough to understand that once we have more definitive information, it's a lot easier to look at your decision and make your decision. And I certainly, the reason they make amendments in life is certainly to amend uh, when you have more appropriate information at this point in time. Um, speculating, I'm not necessarily comfortable doing. Oh, just one more comment. Uh, I come from the commercial real estate world and um, I, I don't think there's any question about the need for a project like this or the proposed project out there. So I'm good with that uh, to meet the needs of the, the community out there. 
on the other hand, we're all concerned about safety as we talked about. And I think sitting on this board for the short time that I have, I think we've been very reasonable in our approach to meet the needs, you know, that uh, the community needs. Uh, but the overall thing is, is with for safety. And I've, ne I've very seldom, if any time, ever seen a project, you know, lead the actual process. You know, and that's to me what we're doing here. We have a project leading the process. We need to go through the process for all the reasons that the process was put in place. So, okay. if, I could, if I could follow up, my, my concern is also safety, as I say before, and I'm also concerned about limited access. As we heard from the fire chief today, we don't want to create a <coughs> corridor with this much development and not have access or egress to either of the properties. That's why I'm, I'm afraid of creating a presence out there will be, you know, obviously limited. Uh, you can construct a tra engineer traffic signal in uh, intersection or non-signal intersection and make it safe. It's just obviously where it's going to be useful for the property and for also for the customers. As we talked about before, the Leco on the west side between I-75 houses is not convenient. And you see people there committing traffic violations every day at the U-turns and no U-turn signs because it's not convenient. It creates more of a hazard for the people there. So I understand that we have to weigh both sides. And that's why my, my objection was originally for that. I have a motion a second uh, on the floor. Um, no public comment. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Aye. Okay. Have your supermajority, sir? Yes, sir. Four to one. Um, we'll move on to item number two. Good evening, commissioners. Amanda Wendell, assistant county attorney. I have your second and final public hearing of the day. Um, this is a hearing to adopt amendments to the land development code that staff considers cleanup type amendments, reducing redundancy, updating cross references, and bringing the land development code into better compliance with the Florida statute. Um, this would be the second uh, and final public hearing for this item uh, if, you, if you pass it. Um, and it has been duly advertised. If you have any questions, I and staff are available. Any questions? Move the item. Second. A motion and a second. Any public comment? Seeing none, I oppose public comment. Motion and a second on the floor. Any other discussion? Seeing none. Any opposition? Seeing none, motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Both for an adjournment.